Brian Solis is here with me. He's just brought, uh, he just wrote a book, excuse my French, and uh, he's, he's very well known here in Silicon Valley and elsewhere as uh, one of the best, if not the best PR specialist around. You can't wow. say that, but I say it. That's your <laughs> reputation. And, uh, and the reason why it works is that, uh, uh, like, unlike the other marketing or PR professionals, you have your own community. Yeah. Right, and you're not only using like you're not at all using traditional tools, but you have your community, you have your blog, you have your Twitter, you have all those tools. Can you explain mm -hmm. how someone builds a community like yours? Yeah, well, it's it's, uh, it's an overnight success, ten years in the making. To be honest with you, it's not it's not an easy thing, but it 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 really takes diligence and passion. And I did it the same way that anybody should do it, and that's by listening to sort of the markets, you know, what, using the tools that are available to all of us, searching the keywords that were important to me, and sort of creating the social map of where I needed to be based on those keywords, and then going out there and sort of engaging people based on their feedback, because at the end of the day, we're all consumers, we all have opinions, we all have something to say, hopefully it's <laughs> not BS. But so but where do you start? You take, you take one topic, so for mm -hmm. you it's PR. Or social media. following, or mm -hmm. social media, mm -hmm. and you start following. I started listening, right? So uh, in fact, I came up with this tool that sort of recreated the process I use, and I call it the conversation prism. Sort of takes all of the communities um, and divides them by the type of community there are. And you know, each one of those has a, has a search box. So I, I searched, you know, PR, PR 2.0, Web 2.0, social media, um, certain individuals that I admired to see where their names came up, who was talking about them, how they were being discussed. And I started to create a map, you know, of what that looked like and where I needed to be based on the volume and frequency of these keywords. And then started reading and listening and learning and, 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 and basically letting it in, you know, breathing it in so that I could understand and become empathetic to the discussions that were taking place. I mean, it, w it wasn't an overnight thing, but I started then talking and commenting and writing posts that were responsive to what people were looking for. Mm. I started to find opportunities because there's a lot of people asking questions and the answers weren't necessarily there. Then I would write and I would cr connect that content to the people looking for it because to assume that we could create a tweet or a post that everybody would suddenly see is just absurd, right? You have to connect that content to the people directly and build a bridge. So it was a constant bridge building over the years that built this community. How do you start your morning when you wake up, you open your Mac, <laughs> <laughs> right? And uh, what do you check? Where do you go? Uh, what tools do you use? The first ones, like the first half an hour you're online. What the first you half an hour is uh, a tool that actually, you know, is a total self-promotion here. Uh, I, I co-founded a company called BuzzGain with Makun Mohan. And BuzzGain is a listening dashboard. So we could take the blogosphere, we could take traditional media, and we could take Twitter, YouTube, uh, seismic, <laughs> we could take all kinds of places. As long as it has a search box, it's piping into this dashboard. Okay. And that's how I spend my morning. Is I, I have keywords related to my clients as well as to you know my personal brand. Yep. And that and I get smart to see what I've missed, what I need to know, and that sets the tone for my day. And I, I and it's it's longer than thirty minutes, and and it probably starts the night before. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 no, for sure. <laughs> And so what else do you do outside of your online uh, like time on Twitter, on Facebook? And because you share a lot of pictures on Facebook, you have, you have, what are your techniques which are a little different? One of them is you keep taking pictures of everybody, right? Yeah. Well, you share them. I share and them. And that makes them happy because they're very nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you wouldn't expect for, from a PR professional, right? Well, I, I do it um, not as a PR professional. You know, it's just what, what I do outside, and it's actually a great question because this is what we all need to do, is that there's a real-world component to all of this, right? It's about extending those relationships in the real world and online and sort of building a bigger network, a, build a, a bigger community, right, that, that just traverses across Silicon Valley and wherever. It's just it's a global thing. And the pictures are something that I, I started to do years ago as a way of sort of documenting the emergence of Web2. And <laughs> I uh, started with a point and shoot, and the, the, the pictures were horrible. It wasn't capturing you know, what I felt was the brilliance of what was taking place. So I started to teach myself how to take better pictures um, and give them all away, because it's, all, it's basically for everyone else to use. What else do you do? You do those dinners, very secret, with uh, super <laughs> high-end profile bloggers. We have dinners. Uh, we'll, do, we'll host uh, the tech set events with Stephanie Agresta around the country so that we could bring entrepreneurs together and network. Uh, we host events or I'll even go to other events uh, all the time. Like tonight, we'll probably go to the WordPress uh, event um, so that I can meet people that I don't already know or sort of build on those relationships with the people I haven't seen in a while.
So meeting in real life is very important Absolutely. as well. And listening to those people that you meet in real life, hearing what they're doing, what they're up to, what's new with them, what's, what are they using to communicate. Uh, because I, I view it as an opportunity to learn. I'm learning every single day. What I knew and what I'm doing are different things. Anything else you use to build your community? <laughs> yeah, a, no, 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 no. I was with Tim Ferriss this morning who shared that uh, he does these, you know, events where I like, uh, a movie theater mm -hmm. that TechCrunch did as well, yeah, right? right? They put all the community, they, put, they invite everyone <laughs> to go to a theater. So I don't know anything cool that you're doing that offers, like a book is a good way to also have a community. Uh, well, yeah, the book it takes was, a lot of time, though. The book took a year to do. It's the second yeah. book, um, and this, the point of this book, and, and every blogger I talk to says, why don't you write a book? You have a blog for yeah. that. And yeah, why do you write a, a book? And the point was to, to reach the thousands of other people who aren't reading blogs. Uh, and in, in the world of PR, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a huge community. Um, and, and I wanted to sort of reach out to those people and show them what they're missing and try to bring them in to learn, you know. In our world. In, in our world, absolutely. Cool, well, thanks very much, Brian. Thanks and uh, you can follow Brian at uh, twitter.com slash Brian Solis. That's it. You can do briansolis.com. That's, yep, those two will get you everywhere. Or you just Google Brian. <laughs> thanks, Brian. Thanks, Loic.